Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome to The Ranch of Rivershine. Y'all, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a while. This is a game made by Eloise LaRoche. We have played like all of Eloise's games, I think on this channel. Alchemy Story, Bunny Park, Capybara Spa. They're all on here. We've done them all. Uh, so we're going to play another one. Uh, I've been looking forward to Ranch of Rivershine for a while, y'all know I've started my horse girl era not too long ago, and now it's time to take that to the next level. Uh, let's take it to a new game. Haven't played it all, don't know much about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, you got two body types. Uh, different shades. Okay. Uh, I am pale. <laughs> let's be honest. I am pale. <laughs> uh, let's see what kind of eye colors we got. Alright, I think... Hold on. There's not like a gray, is there? That's a little bit too... Well, I guess this will be my closest. Or is that brown? Hold on. Brown, green, blue. Darker brown. We'll do green. Okay. Um, What kind of hairstyles? You got my coolness? My, my coolness? My swoop? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Hair color, huh? Well, I think that this is the closest to me. Um, let's see. Honestly, this is the closest hairstyle, I guess, for me. Uh, shirt. What kind of shirt we got going on? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, I like my pink. Do, oh, the overalls. Yes. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. All right. Oh, back, back, back. Do we do brown, green, or blue? I think we go green. Yeah, it's a very... Very ranch life kind of deal. Yeah, we'll do that. Boots. Any different boots? No. Black boots then. Name. Oh, Nat Maruzzi. Pruzzi. Okay. Continue. There we go. Very much... Um, lemon cake situation. Okay. All right. Explore the town and find Madeline Bouchamp, who invited you to Rivershine. All right, we move like this, look around like that. I'm gonna up my sensitivity a little bit. Okay. So, y'all, we're here, Ranch of Rivershine. Okay, E to interact with things. We can whistle, I don't think I have a horse yet. Um, what else we got going on? Let's make our way. Do, do, do. So neat. Oh, and then player information, what do we got? Ah, okay, here's our, we got, here we are, there's a person in front of us, that's Madeleine Bouchamp, who we're gonna go see. Produce, so I'm guessing that we can sell food and stuff, explore the town, alright, rewards, gain a bunch of money for it. Okay, cool, simple so far. Hello, Madeline. Ah, Prutzi, I'm so pleased to see you here. Please allow me to extend you a warm welcome to Rivershine. We've all been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Prutzi. The entire town has been working diligently to restore the ranch for you. Well, everyone who remains at any rate, the past years have been uh, quite a challenge for our community to say the least. However, now that you're here and we have a very own champion to represent Rivershine once again, I'm confident that better days lie ahead. Of course, you're not yet a champion, especially since you arrived here on foot. Um, uh, fortunately, I have arranged for horse traders to participate in a grand reopening of the auction house today. While we don't currently have many horses available, I'm sure that I'll be able to offer you a greater variety in the future. Now, it's understandable if the prospect of participating in your first horse auction is intimidating. Allow me to explain the process. As I present each horse to you, you may either pass or place a bid on it. Feel free to pass on any horses that don't interest you, but once you do, someone else will purchase it. If you see a horse that catches your eye, be sure to bid on it. It may take a few rounds to win it, but don't worry. If you truly want a horse, and have the funds for it, I'm confident you'll be able to obtain it. If I may offer you some advice on choosing your first horse... Uh, of course, you should choose a horse with a coat that you like, but also consider their skill levels. Jump, speed, endurance, and flexibility will all impact their performance. All of these skills can be improved based on a horse's potential. Therefore, if you plan to train your horse, it might be best to purchase one with a high potential, even if their other skills are currently lacking. Don't worry too much about their name, either. You can change that later. I'm thrilled to see which horse you will choose, Prutzi. I'll see you in the auction house when you're ready. All right, we're going to pick our first horse. So uh, I like that they're being very clear, like, hey, um, you should uh, consider their stats while doing this. 
Looks like my mouse sensitivity doesn't actually affect much here, so I'm curious if I can then up the uh, sensitivity around here. Here we go. Let's do like this. V-Sync should be on if it's not already. Okay, continue. All right, that looks, that looks a little bit better for me. I, I need sensitive mites. Okay, so this is the auction house, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. Okay. 3,600 for dark blueberry. What's the high end? How do I know what the upper limit is? Is it up here? Potential. Goes down over time as your horse ages. Okay, so this is the potentials all the way up here, and this is where they're at. Um, I want to see what the next one is. I want to see what the next horse is, you know? Going once, going twice, sold. Muddy Rain. A healthy adult mare. Ooh, very pretty with the... Uh, the, uh, the, the way that the mane goes. Okay, potential is 40%. So it seems like they're both kind of in the same ballpark of potential. They might have more. We're going to pass. You know, we're going to see what else we got. Capital Bean. Potential is 51%. Oh, look how cute you are. We're going to bid. We're going to bid on Capital Bean. I want Capital Bean. Hey, we got Capital Bean for thirty-four fifty. Nice. Ah, your horse is a lovely choice, Prutzi. I have no doubt that you'll make a formidable pair. Now that you've acquired a horse, I recommend visiting our trainer, River. I have informed her that you'll be arriving, and she has prepared a lesson for you. You'll find River in the outdoor arena, just down the hill from the auction house. Oh, and, and don't forget to lead your horse with you to the arena, Prutzi. Where are you at, my horse? Hello. Hello, how do I interact? Oh, Come on, Bean. We're gonna, we're gonna change your name later. We'll make you Archer Beans. That's who you will be. Beans. Yeah, you even got like little blondish hair like Archer. There you go. Oh, I love it. You're so cute, look at you go. I love it. What you got over here? Well, well, if this isn't Rivershine's next country champion. It's nice to meet you, Prutzi. Oh, and uh, who do you have here with you? Capital Bean. I'm sure you'll go far together. I'm River. I usually work with Madeline to help her find and train horses for the auction house, but she asked me to take some time today to prepare a lesson for you and get you acquainted with your new partner. Now, let's get you riding. It'll be easier to explain once you're on Capital Bean. Just stand next to your horse and mount it when you're ready. Okay. E. Okay. Okay, we're doing some wads. All right, we're walking. We're walking. Okay, it's uh, tap it again and squeeze your legs together to go at a faster gait. So you move with the, you, you uh, turn with the mouse. Good to know. Slow down by tapping S or holding it down to break quickly. Okay. So, oh, oh. That was a good start, Prutzi. Take it easy with the gallop, as your horse doesn't have a lot of endurance just yet, it's always better to slow down to a canter before your horse fully runs out of energy. But I know how fun it is to go at full speed. Now, let's see if we can take a better look at Capital Bean. Left Alt to change your view to free camera. Oh, cool. All right. A and D to control the reins while moving the camera. Oh, I dig that. Ooh, I kind of like it this way better. So this is where you control it with wads and then you move the camera. Like this. I like that. I think that's going to be how I play, probably. Although, moving with the mouse might um, be more precise, you know? Being able to, like, turn like this, like... Okay. Now that you've learned the basics, I'll add a few jumps in the arena. Don't worry, I'll keep the obstacle, uh, the obstacle small. For now. Tell Capital Bean jump, well... Or to jump well, speed up to a trot or faster. Make sure your horse faces the obstacle straight on, and when you're close enough, jump it. Remember, it's easier to prepare for obstacles correctly when you're approaching it slowly, so if Capital B refuses to jump, make sure to take your time when you try again. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah! Okay, what's my jump button? Approach a jump at a trot, press space when the indicator turns green. We're trotting. We're trotting. Green! Yeah! Okay, okay. Nice jump, Prutzi! If you pay close attention after crossing an obstacle, you'll see that your horse is improving their jump skill. You can train your horse in multiple disciplines, such as jump, endurance, speed, or flexibility when you ride them. However, your horse will lose energy as you train them. And once they run out of energy, they can't be trained any further until they rest. 
Feel free to practice on the other Cavalettis, 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 in the arena. And when you're done training, just come see me. I don't know what that word means. Is that the name of a horse? What's a Cavaletti? Huh, or is that what these things are called? These little jumps. I'm curious about progress. Where do I see my progress? Oh, it showed up jump at the bottom there in the, in the, to the lower left. And then my energy is the green there, it looks like. So we're going to just jump over a bunch of these. I want to go on like a nice little circuit. So it's not too bad. I love the indicators. They're very clear. Very clear indicators. Um, okay, so then to turn tight. Yeah, see, that's where I might like doing it that way. Although, I mean, this works pretty well too. Oh, is it relative? Ooh, it's kind of relative. Or you guess you, you have to like wait. You have to tap and press. You can't just like, like don't. So I'm, I'm pressing... Uh, a and D to turn, right? If I'm holding D, and then I press and hold A while I'm still holding D, it doesn't work. Um, it, like, locks up. So even though I'm no longer holding A, it's going straight. But then if I press again, it goes. So make sure to let go of your one finger first and then go. Make sense? So that's how that's working. Anyway, if that's what you're going to do. Or you can just do mouse controls. Like this. Okay. Hello. Great training session, Prootsie. I've already set up a beginning obstacle course on your ranch, so if you want to train again, you can always do so in your arena or right here in town. We still have a lot to chat about, but I'm sure you're very excited to get settled on your ranch with Capital Bean. Before you leave town, make sure to stop by the general store. I bet George has a little care package to help you get started. There might even be a carrot or two for Capital Bean in there. Talk to you soon, Prootsie. I love them. I love all the characters. Here's the thing, y'all. Eloise's games always have just like the cutest most adorable characters like they're just sweet people they want you to succeed they want to be a part of a wonderful place together it's great we're at a canter y'all we're at a canter yeah i think i like a and d controls doot didn't mean to stop didn't mean to go to a full stop there okay now can i hitch can I hitch my horse? Do I put Capital Bean somewhere? All right, Bean, you're going to stay here, okay? Who are you? Can I talk to you? Doesn't look like it. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Prootsie. I'm sure you've had a long day, so I won't keep you for long. I prepared a little care package to help you get settled on your ranch. It includes a few tools for you, but most importantly, some hay, grain, and bedding for Capital Bean. It should be enough to last a few days. After that, you'll be able to gather more forage around your ranch or come by my store if you're missing something to care for your horse. I have a little bit of everything in my store, but nothing too fancy. You'd usually be able to visit my neighbor's stores too, but they've all closed down due to lack of visitors. Hopefully now that you're bringing attention back to Rivershine, they'll settle in town again. Now, you should get home and bring Capital Bean in the stables to take care of them after this eventful day. I wish you both a good evening. Okay, I dig the kind of RPG style elements that it seems like are coming up for raising your horses, which I know is a common thing in horse games. But um, to me, it seems like this is a really neat way or like a, it just it feels it feels different. You know, I played Emerald Valley Ranch not too long ago and I had some problems with uh, controls and stuff like that in that one. And already I'm feeling real nice about this. Camera works well. Controls work well. You have two alternate ways of moving, so you can kind of pick what you want, um, which I really like. Do, 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 go into the ranch. Oh, this is ours? This is all ours? Heck yeah. Ooh, we got some space to deal with. How many horses are we going to be able to get? All right. Where's the, oh, the stables all the way back there? Or is this the stables? This is the stables. All right, let's let's trot. Let's trot our way in, Capital Bean. Boop, 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 boop. So pre it said press F to learn more about your horse and take care of them. Okay, F. Okay, healthy adult. Energy is a little low. Keep your horse indoors and give them treats to increase their energy. Feed hand grain once per day. Brush your horse. Build bonds and do things. As your horse ages, potential goes down. Okay, hey. Um... Oh, okay, Timothy Hay. Oh, cool. How's that, bud? So then feed him once, but okay. Keep your horse indoors and give them treats. Yeah. Care. Can I care yet? What's this? 
We also have grain, we have oats, okay. We don't have brushes or anything like that yet, so... I think that's all I can do at the moment. Yeah, we don't have any treats, as far as I can tell. Because that would probably be carrots and stuff. Okay, so then... What do I press to get out of here? Um... F? Was it F? Treat! Oh, okay, cool, now we can treat. Okay, it wanted me to do things in a certain order, that's why. Uh, okay, carrot. Come on. Okay, carrot. There you go. Chomp chomp. Oh, apples give even more. Good to know. They do love apples. Okay, only one treat at a time. Only one treat at a time. Or it's teaching me things again. Okay. Old brush. Clean your horse's stall when they're left in the stables overnight. You can also put down straw to help keep your horses comfortable. Yeah, aren't you happy? I'm trying to see, is the care going up or does it have a limit? So we're at 75. Okay, and we're still at 75, right? Yeah, okay, so then we click on muck. Let's put down some straw. Okay, cool. Care is at 100%. All right, then we have blanket. Change up your horse's blanket, saddle and bridle in the stable. Your equipment won't impact your horse's performance. Okay. Uh, to ride your horse tackless, you can remove them all. Okay. So we're putting the white western blanket on there. Saddle. Okay. And bridles. Okay. And then send to pasture. Cool. Aww. Neat. All right. So it was tutorializing me there. That's why I couldn't do everything. Cool. All right. Visit your new home and go to sleep for the night and save your progress. Boop ba doo. Running around on the field with my horses too. Go to bed. Gonna rest my head so I can wake up and do it again. All right. Okay, we slept. We did some sleeps. I thought I might be able to change my outfits here. Okay. Eyebrows. I didn't know we could do eyebrows. Was that a thing before and I just didn't notice it? Hairstyle, hair color, shirt, pants, boots. Same deal. Okay. I must have just not noticed those earlier. Can interact. Can sit down. Cute. Do, 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 What do you do? Nothing? Okay. Just wanted to look at everything. All right. Hi, Aprootsy. I hope you had a good night's rest because we have a busy day ahead. Why don't you come by for a chat and I'll get you set up with a new training course to practice with your horse. You have a first competition to get ready for. Ooh. Uh, who's Jai? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> okay. Well, we're just going to give you a random voice and then we'll see. Hey there, Prootsy! I thought you might be getting a bit turned around as you find your way around town. I hope that this is someone who this voice doesn't fit. Why don't you ride into town with your new pony and check your map to see where I am? I bet you can find me. Yeah, probably. Okay. M to look at the map. Oh, I need to go to town first. Okay, where is my horse? Of course. Buddha boat bull. I wonder how I change. His name. Although I, now I've gotten so used to the name. You know, it's like, well, capital Bean. So then do I go to the stable? Or do I... Whistle? No horse answered my whistle. So how do I... What do I do? Okay. So I just go up to you and then we're good. So then off to town. Dude, wait, your energy didn't go up? I thought I fed you. Hold on, hold on. I guess because it's morning. Look, we're not going out less than 100%. All right, Capital Bean. Okay. Oops, wrong button. I think it's like F, is that the right one? Flexibility, gain flexibility by going in and out of there. Okay, uh, horse information, and then energy. I think we give you a treat for energy. Yes, so enjoy a carrot. And another. Oh, I can only give one, that's right. I should have given you an apple. That's fine. Okay, so. We're trotting, we're trotting along. Okay, I don't wanna go any faster because I wanna save as much energy as possible. Um, okay, 
Y'all, this game's adorable. Just once again, Eloise has a style, and this is definitely improved upon it. I'll be honest, I think that this is probably the most, um, these are probably the most complex character models I've seen of Eloise's work. Um, like, I love the graphical style of Eloise's other games. Um, go back and check them out. It's a super unique, interesting style. And this just looks like a more, uh, I guess, next-gen version, we'll say. Um, but I love them both. I love both art styles. They both have their appeals. Okay, so where is this Jai person? We have Madeline Bouchon, Rivers over there, Lupine Meadow, there's Jai Maji. Okay, so let's go see Jai first, and then we will um, go find River. Because I feel like that's kind of what they want me to do. River's going to be the main quest right now. And then Jai is like, look, you should come start the side quest. <gasps> look at the little chickens running around. My goodness, look at you. Y'all are so cute. Oh, man. All right. Love it. I lo oh, so sorry about that, Bean. My bad. Okay, so that's Jai's house over there, I'm guessing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to canter a bit. Gotta use my energy for something. All right, our speed went up. Our flexibility went up. That's nice. Speed's going up again. I think flexibility is probably like, oh gosh. It's probably like, meow, 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 meow. Yep. Okay. Be right back, Bean. Oh. Whoa, hello. Hey, look who's visiting again. Quest. <laughs> Looks like you found your way around town. I wasn't sure you'd make it here, to be honest. I'm just messing with you. I'm glad you figured out where I was on the map. You used the map, right? It's so useful, a park ranger's best tool. But now, you can use the map simply to look around, see what buildings and villagers are in the area. But there's more. You can also guide to find your way around. Oh, use a guide. Simply select a target on your map, like a store or the entrance to a new trail, and then click on guide. It'll point you in the right direction while you're riding. If you're too far from the entrance of a trail, you can also teleport back there with your horse. Saves you from running back to the entrance, especially if you're getting tired. And don't worry too much. I'm sure you'll get used to the town's layout soon, and you'll be able to rock around with your eyes closed. Well, as long as your horse's eyes are open. Anything else on your mind? What do you sell? Um, let me know what I should start working on. Okay, so you must be upgrades. Anything else on your mind? Uh, I think we're good for now. If you need anything, just give me a holler. Wait a minute, do you have a quest for me? <laughs> Doesn't look like you're quite done with that one yet. Okay. Cool. Then let us... Oh, wait. Is there anything in here? Here's your bedroom. Got a little... Little deck. This cute little house. It's a cute little house. I love their hair. I love the character models already. And the art's great. I don't know if you saw in the um, the credits there, but the uh, there was an artist who was commissioned to do this art. Um, like the, the 2D art, which is great. Um, and then I believe Eloise did everything having to do with the game itself, and then there was, a, there was someone who did the music, and that's, that's pretty much the thing. So, uh, it's just, it's so impressive what someone can do, you know? Okay, it's inspiring. I would like to make games. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry! You got under my legs! Alright, where's River? Okay, that's what I thought. So, we're going up to the next turn, and then we're taking a right. Doing my canter, which is taking down my energy, but you know, it is what it is. Eventually, I'm sure we'll be able to do something about that. Alright, where's River? She's probably upstairs. I don't want to put my horse in the stable, because I don't know if that's like, if it's going to take us into a whole other shebang, or she's going to teach me about it. Hi, Prutzi. Quest. Ah, Prutzi. I hope you're ready for another training session today. Before we get started, why don't you take a look at what I have in store? I've prepared a few different courses for you, from beginner to expert. Each course also has obstacles of different styles, with unique layouts, so it should keep it interesting while you're training. For today, the beginning flower fences should be a good start. Okay, I hope Capital Beans training goes well. Okay, you have Flower Fence, Country Barrel, and Intermediate Calavetti Course. Add a beginner Flower Fence course to use on your arenas. The course includes two obstacles. Purchase. Okay. 
Thank you for your progress. Beginner country barrel. Sure. We will buy both. Okay. Now, does that mean that I have to do it on my, those are so I can do it on my ranch and then there's a tester one over here? Or am I just supposed to go back to my place and do it? Or do I go out here onto this field? Let's see. Let's find out. Is it here? There we go. Okay. Beginner. Wooden Cavaletti. That was the first one? No, that was... Yeah, yeah, that's the first one. Let's do Flower Fence now, right? Begin. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Bop. And go faster. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Bop. 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 Yeah. Good job. Good job, horsey. What? I hit it! Oh, no. What? Okay, back it up. Beep. 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 I think I came in at too sharp of an angle last time. Do. 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 Ooh, there's different directions you can go. Huh. Huh. Okay, we're going wide. Huh. Oh, 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 that was close. Okay, then we're going around. We're taking it wide. We're going like a this. Huh. Energy's getting a little low. Don't want to go too hard on it. Oh, I promise I hit that. Too, too sharp of an angle. Too sharp of an angle. Complete this quest with River. Huh. Okay. Did I do it? Was that enough? Was that enough? Or is there a way that I have to complete it? Like a certain path, I wonder. You know? Boop, bop, boop, ba doop, bop, boop, boop, bop, boop, ba doop, beep, bop, boop. Quest. Ah, Prutzi, I'm glad you picked up the flower fences. Before you run out of here, I thought I'd give you a few tips about Capital Beans training. As you might have noticed, you'll naturally train your horse as you ride around town or jump in the arena. You can see next to their energy which skill they're actively training. For example, galloping will train their endurance, while cantering improves their speed. Flexibility is practiced by turning sharply and jumping... Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Keep in mind, you can't train a horse indefinitely. It will be limited both daily, based on the horse's energy, and through their whole life, depending on their potential. As your horse practices different activities throughout the day, such as training and competing, their energy will go down. This will also impact how long they can gallop, and if your horse completely runs out of energy, they won't be able to go faster than a canter. Luckily, energy is restored daily, as long as your horse is healthy. Your horse will also have more energy if they sleep in the stables, so keep that in mind before turning them out in the pasture. Oh, I left them in the pasture! That's why I didn't have full energy. Potential, on the other hand, can be restored as easily. Your horse will naturally lose potential as they age, and will lose potential point um, for every skill point they gain. In other words, if you want to maximize the horse's speed skill, you might want to limit their endurance training to put as much of their potential as possible into their speed. For now, let's focus on improving your horse's jumping skill. Simply walk into the arena with Capital Bean and select a beginner's course you'd like to practice on. You should have a few short courses to choose from now. Come see me again once you've trained a bit, and I'll let Madeline know about your progress. With any luck, she'll decide to open the competitions again. I'll make sure you share all my best advice with you. Okay, cool. Oh, I already did it. Nice work, Prutzi. I can already see Capital Bean's improvement. I'm sure Madeline will be very happy to hear about your progress. Oh, and before I forget, here are a few apples for you. Well, for Capital Bean. I'm sure you've noticed that your horse's energy goes down during training. If you want to bring their energy up, you can always offer them a snack. Keep in mind, you can only offer your uh, horse a snack once per day, so choose your moment wisely. Go home and rest now. You both deserve it. Let's do our best today. All right, cool. We'll take good care of Capital Bean. Heck yeah, we will. All right. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, boop. Let's see now. You said I could quick travel, right? Uh, go to entrance. Neat. Okay, cool. All right, y'all. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, we have returned. Let's go ahead and head back to the ranch. Now, when I let him graze, what is the benefit? Or is that just what you do during the day? Because, like, they rest at night. So, hmm. I'm very curious about that. Well, let's go use up the rest of... Oh, and actually, you know what? Real quick. Let's look at your stats. Because, 
uh, we know that we need to be careful. Um, so I'm guessing, so potential, has it been going down? I think it has. Goes down over time, okay. So, trust still needs to go up, winning competitions and giving them treats, okay. Speed, endurance, jump, and flexibility. For now, part of me thinks like speed. Although endurance is a good idea too. Like I feel like speed and endurance, a little bit of jump. We can try that out for a bit. Flexibility is really good too. Like all of these stats are important, I'm sure. We haven't seen what races are like yet, so I really don't know what the best idea is, you know? Uh, empty arena, begin because I already used up, like, all the energy. Wow, Gallop goes fast. Oh, but the energy kind of comes back a little bit. Look at that. Okay, not anymore, though. So maybe if you run it out... Okay, look at that! So there is some energy regen. Okay. So we're going to go up a little bit here. Okay. I was mostly running that Gallop just to see... But I'm curious now. Uh, beginner. Let's see what the country barrels look like. Okay. Jumping. Speed jump flexibility going up. The reason I'm thinking endurance is because, like, our energy does go pretty fast when we're galloping. And if we're doing a race, we're probably going to want to gallop a lot, I'm assuming. But if there's sharp turns and things, then this flexibility and this jump are going to be necessary. So... We're going to just get our butts over all these. Take this last one. It's only 11 in the afternoon, you know? I wonder if we can get uh, Bean here to uh, to eat again, maybe? But we will be sending him out to pasture. Oh, wow, that sounds bad, because that's, like, that's actually like a turn of phrase. I literally mean it. Um... Horse, uh, horse info. Energy's down. Can I treat? We already have today. Okay, then... We're gonna send you to the pasture for now. Um, I'm not... I'm still not sure what doing the pasture does. How do I look at my stuff again? Player information. Inventory, quest, map, um... Produce, okay. Okay, so so far we don't really have much. They've told me, like, just go to go home and go to sleep and then you'll be good. So part of me thinks, like, for these first few days, they do really want me just kind of plowing through it. So we're going to bring you back inside. Oh, I guess I can lead. That's right. Let's lead you. I wonder if leading builds up your relationship more. Because sometimes that's the case in games. Okay, so, capital bean, you're looking good. Let's go home and go to bed, and then we'll see about their energy. Oh, this looks pick upable. It's glowing. Gather. Oh, okay. Well then, I kind of want to goof around looking for things. Maybe we should do that tomorrow. I mean, I've got a good amount of time here, so maybe it's worth it. Just running around grabbing a couple things, because I'm assuming that these things are like at least... Oh, I need to put down tack and stuff in the... In the, um... Not tack. Uh, uh, hay and stuff. In the, uh... In the stables, don't I? Alright, I see another one over there, I think. I see something orange. Maybe that's free hay. do 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 Straw! Yeah, cool! So all around our little ranch, we'll find some things. So that's nice. I'm assuming we can start growing things at some point. Um, so grow our own like apples and carrots and things. Or maybe we just make money doing horse things. And these are like our basics. And then beyond that, um, you know, we got to pay for the finer stuff. Who knows? We're going to find that out. We're going to find that out. But oh boy, with all the, the horse training and like the potential breeding and all that kind of stuff, this, is, uh, this game's going to be a marathon. It's going to be a marathon, not a sprint, y'all. Okay. So, let us head on in here. Uh, let's horse info. 
We are going to brush you. Let's make sure you're nice and happy and clean. Yeah, you can see the care meter going up there. Right? Just get you all over. Yeah. Scratch your butt. Scratch you everywhere. 99. Yeah, scratch your head. 99. Did I miss, miss a spot? 100. Okay, cool. Energy's low. I can't do much to feed you or anything like that. Can I throw in some oats? There you go. And hay. Orchard grass. Okay. Back. So now our horse should be happy. Hopefully we'll have 100% energy in the morning because we put them in the stable. Um, and yeah. Do, do, do. I didn't even look. Like, can you tell the sex of the horse? Like, does is there a thing that says it? Because I haven't even looked. But I'm assuming that there's, like, um, breeding and stuff. So that'd be important. Um, and I keep calling Bean a he, even though we don't know. Greetings, Prutzi. I'm, so, oh, um, <clears throat> I'm so happy to hear from River that you've been training hard. Oh, no. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself. I, gave her, I started giving her the Southern Belle, but she's more British. But if you're feeling ready for a challenge, come see me in town, and we'll have the official inauguration of River Shine's competitions. Madeline. It's not so much British as, like, hoity-toity uh, Northeast in America, maybe? It's somewhere in between. It's somewhere in between. I don't know. It's a voice I've heard before, though. It's a voice I've heard because I'm a mimic and I just steal people's voices. Um, oh, there are trees. I wonder if there's apple trees around. I'm curious, actually. Oh. No, nah, those just have twigs. I thought I saw red, like, apples in those trees, but that's just, like, branches. Okay. Let's grab Capital B. Oh, you did poops. You did poops. Oh, no. Um, how do I clean you up? Pitchfork? Aha! Look at that! I haven't done that yet. Interesting. They didn't teach us about the poops. Um, put down some straw. Let's go ahead and uh, brush you a little bit more. All right? Just in case you got dirty overnight. Care's going up a little bit. Do 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 do. Back and forth, up and down. Make you happy all around. 99's pretty good. And this is where I gotta let go everywhere. Make sure I got every little bit. All right, 100%. Family tree. Don't know yet. Stallion, okay, capital bean. S sex is uh, male. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Let's save us some energy. We are going to go... Go to entrance. Okay, um... Visit Madeline. Okay, cool. The cross-country competitions. Let's go figure this stuff out. Okay, dokey. Get me going places. Look at these little sheeps! Saw them earlier, but, you know. We're just trotting. Because I'd love to save as much energy as I can. Uh, it's a cute little mini waterfall there. Some rapids. White water rafting season, maybe? Where are we going? Where's Madeline? Madeline. Oh, Madeline. That's Jay, or Jai. That's River. Oh, there's Madeline. Okay, so we need to take a left. And George Robinson, whoever that is. Okay. While we're, while we're trotting, I need to open up my beverage here. It's still early morning for me, so I'm still kind of waking up. Oh, oh, let me get the camera in the right position. Just saunter my way over, so I need to settle my stomach a little bit here. Get my bubbles in the morning. Boop, ba doop, ba doop. Now you're over here, right? Yes. Ba -boop -ba -doo -doo -doo. Okay, those look a little bit like garden plots. I'm cool with that. All right, let's back down here. Hi, bud. Okay. Oh, wow. 
You got a big house. <laughs> Good day, Prootsy. Ah, oh, Prootsy, I'm delighted to share with you that the first competition is ready to take place in Rivershine. Now, if you're feeling ready to inaugurate our town's competition, just head over to the competition board in the town square. You'll find it right in front of the auction house. From there, you can register any time you'd like to participate in a competition. We only have one that's organized now, but I'm sure we'll have more competitions for you soon. Well, let's see how our new River Ch Rivershine champion fares. Okay. Shop, what do you sell? Nothing at the moment. Okay. Leave. Okay. I want to quickly, though, go over here. We'll see what George Robinson uh, is up to over here. Hopefully, he's not a Colin Robinson. Boop, ba doo. Nice. I think he was just right here. I like just sauntering around on Capital Bean over here, you know? We're going to let you kind of get close to that. Maybe you can eat some of those, you know? Don't tell George. Oh, this is George. I forgot. This is George. I forgot we met George already. Good day, Prootsy. Okay, and you can sell me things. We're going to grab a couple apples because I will be able to... Um, oh, wait. How much does a soft brush cost? Five fifty. Hard brush, 3700 Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, we know that the brush is there, so that's probably nice. Probably makes them cleaner faster, is my guess. So we'll uh, we'll consider that. I forgot his name was just it was George. Um, I say just George. I just forgot his name was George. Um, town statue competition board. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Click start guide. Let's see what this is like. Okay. So it's pointing me in that direction. Now does it like tell me which path to take or? Not really. It just points in the direction. Okay. Because I was wondering if it was going to be, you know, like Grand Theft Auto or something where it puts like a little line on the ground that shows you where to go. You know? Can I pick these things up while on horse? No. So, let's just quickly... I, I'm realizing that time-wise, if like it's only 8 in the morning already. Like, the time goes by slow enough to where it feels like you can take your time, stop, pick things up, look at things. At least until our endurance gets high enough that we can actually use our horse for more than 10 seconds. Uh, okay. Competition board's over there. Ooh, look at that horse! Oh, it's a statue of a horse. <laughs> Thought it was like a pretty gray horse. Maybe you can like unlock... Eventually turn the statue horse into a real horse. Oh, it, it is glowing. Wild Sprout statue looks like a typical stone figure. Wild Sprout. Must be the, the ultimate horse. Doop ba doop boop ba doop. E. Okay, competition board. Uh, difficulties. Okay, I'm sure that you'll surpass your previous best time today. All right. All right, all of them are locked except for this one. Time limit is three. First place gets you a thousand buckaroonies. Okay. Debut race. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, it's like through the town. Okay. Okay, I don't expect us to win because I have a feeling that they're going to put some pretty tough horses against us to kind of, you know, show us what it's like. Oh, but it's only, it's not together. Okay. It's, uh, it's, um, individual. I got a canter for a lot. Where's where's the next part? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Go, go, gallop. Because you, you lost some time. Also, you got some chicken landmines over there. Cantering as we get up to the things. Woo! You can kind of spam a little bit, it seems. Do 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 Okay. Alright, now energy wise. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Back. Mm okay. I pressed uh I pressed W like forward. <laughs> so I just made myself speed up on that one. 
do 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 Reminds me a little bit of like Epona from uh, uh, Zelda. Oh wait, I have to go over this one? Oh gosh. Didn't go the right way. I didn't notice that one's in the in the field. I jumped the wrong one. What? What? Okay, well still! Good job, Bean. We made it on the board. I got some practicing to do. Alright, I got some practicing to do. Uh, okay. Quest-wise. Complete this quest with Madeleine Bouchon. Now, my question is, okay, if I dismount, if I horse info, if I give you an apple, okay, energy goes up a little bit. I'm curious. Can I do it again? And if I do, will I get money again? River Shine Town, beginner, compete. All right, let's try again. See if we can't get a better time. Because I'm curious if we get more money. Um, you know? Now, I may want to switch to the other control scheme here. Is it left alt? It is. Okay. Whoa, whoa, okay, I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of uh, getting used to. Okay, cool. There we go. Do, 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 do. Because it's like just point at the thing you want to go to. You know, all right, we're cantering as long as we can, right? Until we can gain a little bit of energy to gallop again. Go around the chickens. Okay, how much energy can you get back up to? Because that's what we're going to try and do. Get as much galloping points as we can get. Do, 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 Okay, we're about to canter again. Now, I'm not noticing. Am I? I don't think I'm gaining XP while this is happening, am I? Do, oh, again, trying to look with the camera instead of steer with the camera. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I need to pay attention this time to the arrow because I messed it up last time, right? Okay, it is this one. Do, 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 do. Okay, better. We did better. 112, six seconds off. Nice. Level up our speed a little bit or something. Now, did I make money again? That's the question. I got 500. Cool. All right. I'm glad that you can keep making money. Um, all right. We're going to walk on over to Madeline Bouchamp over here. Well, hello. Okay. Talk. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, that was an impressive performance, Prutzi. I offer you my congratulations on inaugurating our town's first competition. Well, it's not exactly our town's first competition, but it has certainly been a few years since we last hosted one. I'm delighted to have you here, Prutzi, truly. It's only a little sad for us to have a new champion. Rivershine used to host the most famous competitions. It was a source of pride for our town and attracted many travelers. Unfortunately, our champion left town after her last horse grew too old to compete. She could not bring herself to continue without them and instead decided to create statues to honor them. You can see in our town square the first statue she made for her horse, Wild Sprout. We're quite lucky to... Wait, did you see the statue glow just a little now? Ah, oh, silly me. I think my imagination is getting the best of me these days. Regardless, I'm very proud of you and Capital Bean for your performance today. I'm sure that everyone in town agrees with me. I know you've already won a prize, but I wanted to give you a little extra to celebrate your achievement. And if you would like to compete again, please don't hesitate to sign up at the competition board again. Okay, and you have nothing to shop for, but she gave me like a thousand buckaroonies, so I'll take it. All right, so she said, was that glowing a little bit? And I saw it glowing earlier. So, you know, I think there's something there. Okay, it's, it's noon. All right, let me switch back to this view. Um, let's look at our map. I could go to George Robinson and buy some things. Jaimaji's over there. Uh, quest. We have another quest yet? No. So we'll get that probably when we, uh, go back home. Rocky Mountain, Crystal Lake. I wonder, can we go over here? Where's the, where's the entrance here? 
Oh, it took me back over here. So that's just just go to that entrance. I thought maybe I could go to there. Um, a long trail circle around a lake that can be crossed by rocky paths. The tailor resides here. Oh, the stylist resides there. Wildflowers and a hedge mage. The farmer resides here. Neat. Let's go check out the Rocky Mountain. Um, I'm I'm just curious, and we've got you know extra time right now. We finished. We did the the race twice. We've got a little money. I could go over to George Robinson and maybe buy something like the uh, the fancy brush, right? The soft brush. Maybe we'll try that. But first, I want to go over here and see if we can even go. They might have these things locked off until, you know, a certain event or something. Can't go further on this trail yet. Okay. Beep. Beep. All right. So let's go over to George Robinson's. Let's go buy a couple of things. I think this is George Robinson's right here. Um, we'll buy a couple of things. And uh, then we'll call that a day. Oh, George! Of course you're not at home. Of course you're not at home. Why would you be? Oh, he lives here, but he works there. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. That's why I was like, I, I thought I hadn't met him before. Because he was elsewhere. For sale? Hmm. Maybe people are going to move in here. Oh, you know what? I bet I go and I get the farmer and I get the um, stylist and the tailor and I get them to come live here, you know, after they see how awesome we are, you know, I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, we got some straw. Is this George Robinson's? No, one more over. ba doo ba doo doo ba doo ba doo doo Okay. The saddlery. So that's probably the tailor, is my guess. And the stylist, I assume, is like, so we can get other hairstyles and, and clothes and things. Okay, wow, new people around. Who are you? Oh, just a traveler. Just travelers. All right. Do you have any quests? No. Shop. Okay. Timothy Hay, oats, common grain. Carrots are good. Apples are good. Straw. Okay, let's buy the soft brush, right? Let's buy an apple because I used one. Let's buy a little bit of straw. I know we've been picking some up, so that's fine. Let's get a couple of oats and um, another apple. Okay, cool. So basically, I just spent the money that Madeline gave me. But now we're in a little bit safer position, I think, to, like, be able to um, get the most out of a day that we can, essentially. So I think we're just going to go to the ranch, go to the entrance, and then maybe we'll be able to squeeze one more day into this session. You know me, I like to try and get these kind of longer episodes, at least for the first one, just to kind of get a real taste for it. Because there's so much tutorializing usually that it's like, you know, we could use it. Let us canter home. Gallop. Build our endurance for the 10 seconds that you can. Okay. So I dig that you can canter indefinitely. So really it's just galloping is what the energy is for. You may run down energy on canter to a certain point, but you know. All right, horse info. So energy, super low, but I already gave you a treat. Let's build your satiety. Care-wise, let's grab that soft brush. Does it go faster, or is it just certain horses like it more, is my question. Do, 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 do. Scratch your back. Scratch your face. All right. Cool. We're building our trust. Our potential's going down, so it's like we're already kind of reaching our upper potential. So we want, when we get new horses, we want this blue meter to be as high as possible. I wasn't sure if it was like, oh, it builds up to 100 and then you're done, or if it goes down to zero. So it's going to go down to zero. Um, okay, cleaning. Is there anything we need to do? Looks clean to me. Yeah. We've already got some straw down. Right? Okay. I think we're good. And you've eaten, right? Yeah, you're good. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna back out. 
Wait, 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 wait. Ha ha! Archer beans! There we go. Back. Alright, there we go. That's what I call my little dude. Uh, alright. Let's head on home. And then we'll see what messages we get this morning to see what our, uh, what our next goals are gonna be. Um, and if it's another short day, then we'll do it. If it's another long day, then we'll do that next time. Okay. Sleepy time. All right. Good morning, Prootsy. Oh, if you have the time to come see me in town, I could use your assistance with restocking my store. Don't worry. It'll be worth your time. I promise. George. Hi, Prootsy. I've heard you whistling about whenever you can't find your horse without much luck. Why don't you come see me whenever you have time? I'll help you make sense of it before half the town goes crazy. Okay. Learn to whistle and learn about his store and how we can work together. Okay. Well, let's go learn these things. Let's go do it. If the episode goes a little bit longer than I expected, that's fine. That's fine. Do Hopefully y'all are enjoying this because I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's neat. Oh, all right. Let's do some, uh, some morning stuff, okay? Horse info. Let's clean up the poops. Get these poops out of here. Does it do it automatically? No, I do have to click it. It's just like... Oh, you just have to hover it. You don't have to click it. Okay. Poops cleaned, officially. Straw thrown down. Uh, brush to perfection, because we want you at 100% before we leave today. 100% every day. So yeah, I'm seeing that getting the more expensive foods is basically like, okay, so that you can have them all full the next day. Do, 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 because the energy's up there. And then the satiety, since you can only feed them, like, once, then you want to make sure you give them something big. So, like, oats are, like, a little bit too much, but there's ones that did, like, 50%, and it's like, oh, okay, you feed them that. Based on what they have, you feed them based on that, so you don't end up spending your most expensive stuff when you don't have to. And we will give you a treat later to build your energy back up. We are going to trot. And actually, we are going to map. Got to use everything we can to keep this energy up. All right, go to entrance. Boo -doo -doo, boo -boo, ba -da -doo. Where are you at, George Robinson? Wait, okay, give it a second to load everything in. <laughs> do -do -do -do. Oh wait, no, I'm still here, that's why. It takes you to the entrance, but it has you still on your place. My bad, here we go. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Cool. So, George, you're at home. Okay, start my guide. Doop -doop it's interesting how that's blocked off a little bit, but, you know. We're cantering alone. We, and then we slow down. And then we, and then we slow down. Get that energy back up. And then we, we, and then we slow down. I'm just looking at how it affects the energy. Yeah, it looks like your maximum energy for the day goes down slowly, and then your minimum energy, um, it builds back up over time. Okay. Or your current energy, I guess, not minimum. All right, what's up? Ah, I've been looking forward to doing some business with you, Prootsy. Or I'm sure you'll be collecting and growing a lot of forage as you spend time around Rivershine, and I'll be more than happy to buy it from you. In my store, you'll notice that in addition to pur purchasing goods from me, you can also sell things from your own inventory to me. And now, I'll have to buy it at a little bit of a discount so I can still run my business. But don't worry, it's still a good deal for you. Also, sometimes need help to fulfill special deliveries. These are specific items that, need, that I need, so I'll pay extra if you can deliver them to me. I've been looking to replenish my straw supply, so if you could gather some for me, I'd be really grateful. Oh, I have. Ah, delightful! Thank you for gathering all that straw for me. As promised, here's the payment for the delivery. I'm glad to have you as a new business partner. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, since I'm here... Ooh, you gave me some money. So, let's buy a little bit of Timothy hay. That's our 50%. Let's buy a couple of oats again. Let's get some more apples and some carrots. And then we're in a good position. Straw, I've got a fair amount of, I think. 
It's not that hard to find. Actually, no, let's buy... We'll buy one. I don't know if he took all of it or not, is my thing. Okay, leave. Uh, let me check my inventory. Uh, do, 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 straw. I've still got four. Okay, cool. I have 11 apples. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're good on apples for a little while. We're probably good on food, too. All right. Next up, we're heading over to Rivers to learn about whistling. Uh, stop guide. Boop. Start guide. Okay. Let's make our way along, sing a little horsey song, going up in our green overalls. This is, I'm making it up. Walking with our horse, cause you know we just, of course, gotta make ourselves go to the mall? <laughs> uh, so silly. Okay. Okay, a lot of people walking around. I dig that there's like a little bit of... A little bit of life in the town, and I'm sure more will uh, happen. All them must work at the same place. They're wearing the same outfit. Okay. Trotting along. Doot de boo boo. Going through the field, buddy. Whee! And we stop. Ba boom boom ba boom boom. Okay. Here we go. We're going to have you just chill out here, Archer Beans. Okay. What's up? Brutzy! <laughs> well, I can't say I didn't hear you coming with all that whistling. I haven't whistled like a single time except for the one time. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I know how confusing it can be to form a bond with a new horse. When you purchase a horse at the auction house, they initially won't trust you much. If you want them to follow you, whistling won't help, so you have to lead them everywhere. But once their trust for you increases, they'll look for you when you whistle. As they trust you more and more, they'll listen to you from further away, and come running faster, too. Now, I'm sure you've already started to develop a bond with Archer Beans, but I'll give you a few hints to help with it. Consistency is key. Spend time riding your horse, brushing them, offering them treats, and winning competitions together. But keep in mind, you can also lose your horse's trust. Brushing their head isn't much fun. Oh, they don't like brushing their head. Whoops. As is losing a competition or letting them get sick. Let's say, why don't you increase their trust a bit and come see me again, once they listen to your voice. I always love to see your progress. Okay. Cool. So I've been brushing their head. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. So we're going to mount. We're going to go do the race again, because that'll help. And we'll just work on... Let's look for horse information real quick. What's our trust at? 8%. Winning competitions and giving them treats. All right, we will give you a treat after we do the race once. Okay. And then after we complete that quest, I bet they'll want us to go home again, and that'll probably be the end of our day. Okay. I love this game, y'all. It's cute. It's not, like, stressful. Even the little races are, like... Not that intense. I feel like in um, Emerald Valley Ranch, everything was just a little more, like, intense. All right. We're going to do it again. We're going to see what we can do. All right, beans. Let's do this. Oh, and I probably want to switch back to the other camera mode again. Click to continue. Okay. Here we go. So first, we're going to go the normal way, like I normally would do. And then here... We're going to switch our view. Now it's mouse view. Okay. I think mouse view is good for this because of how precise it can be, you know? Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're cantering because we have to. Wait for our energy to come back up. Do, 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 Got to get as much out of these gallops as I can, you know? Okay. My goodness. Do, 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 Okay. Oh, I could probably cut down that hill now that I think about it. Let's cut some time off. Come on. Ah, just not enough energy. 
I'm gonna beat my time by three seconds. One to get ahead. Oh, so close. That's all right. That's all right. Not a bad job. Not a bad job. We didn't win the competition, but we got a third place. Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you, bud? Let's see. How's our trust? Didn't seem to do much. Well, buts. Have an apple. Oh, I thought that that did 50%. Oh, dang. Okay. We're still at 72. If we do another competition... Oh, okay. Eating the, the, the treat got you to... Uh, um, look, that thing is glowing again. Looks like a typical stone figure. Can't really do much with it. Wait. I'm wondering if I can whistle at this, you know? Okay. What if I what if I lead you around, huh? Would, would that would that help our relationship? Boop ba doop boo. Follow me around. Listen to the sound of my voice. Boop ba boop boo ba doop ba boop ba boop boo. Okay. Just curious. Don't know. Okay, so it's riding them regularly. It's brushing them, but not their heads. Um giving them treats. Okay. Winning races, but I can't I don't think I can win yet. I just don't think it's possible. I think I need to build up my endurance, I think, is the thing I need to build up the most, you know? Because I need to be able to gallop for longer periods of time. Let's let it idle a bit. All right. And we're just going to be, like, riding around on this gallop until we, uh... Um... Run out of energy, you know? Till we can't know more. Because I, I need to get, <clears throat> if I want to win that race, I need my endurance and maybe my speed up. Um, empty arena. Because all we want to do is gallop. Boop, ba da boo. Okay, and Cantering's getting a speed, also good. Okay. Bum bum bum. Ba da dum bum bum bum. And go! And sharp turn! Nice. Endurance went up. I saw that. Uh, horse info. While we're waiting for your energy to come back up. Endurance up at 18. We're down to 29. I mean, we're, we're getting down there when it comes to the, the potential. Gallop! But the other part is like, well, why not get this horse up to as high as we can get him? And, you know, then we'll figure out later on with our next horses kind of to be a little bit more like min maxi. Because when we've got like four horses, say, we can be like, okay, this is my fast horse. This is my marathon horse. This is my flexible horse. This is my jumping horse, right? But for now, it's like we kind of just need an all arounder. Um, and I'm imagining that jumps and things will be simple in these earlier races, as we'll be turning. Because um, I think they're going to expect you to be still figuring things out, is my guess. So speed and endurance are what are going <clears> to <throat> are going to improve your time, essentially. Whee! Okay, there we go. Nice. Canter it around. How, how high can our energy get? All right, that's pretty much it. So, wee! All right, now we'll take you on into the stables. All right, good job today, horsey. So, what do we need for you? Let's brush you, but not your face. Don't brush your face. Now I know. And maybe I don't brush your feet either. Like when you move like that, maybe that's like bad. Maybe I'm just supposed to brush your side, you know? 98%. We're just gonna keep brushing around the butt. 
Butt scratches are what work for my cats. And this is what? Just a giant cat, right? Do you, do you like that or no? I can't tell. I don't know if they like their legs being done like that. Scratch back. Scratch back. Okay, is that good? Man, how am I supposed to make sure I 100% this thing, you know? I don't want to brush your face. It's bad. Oh, I gotta get the back legs, maybe. So, what does that do with my trust? Hey, we're at 10! We're at 10! Cool! Well then, energy-wise, can I give you a carrot? No. Can I feed you some feed? No, you've already been fed. Can we... Um, fix up your straw? Oh! Oh! Oh, so you get to both eat hay and... Um, orchard grass. I didn't realize that. Okay. So... Let's... I mean, we can take you back out because uh, I need to take you over to River. So we're going to walk you for a little bit right now. Actually, let's... Um... Ah! boo doo boop boop ba doo Dismount. Okay, and then if I do this. Yay! Cool. Alright. And we will use our speed and whatnot to get there. Don't need to necessarily gallop. But I like I like the system. It's um Simple, but has, you know, uh, potential for complexity, you know what I mean? Like, I think that you could play this game, probably, and not really focus on the min-maxing, and still have a pretty solid experience. And then, if you want to get, like, maybe to, like, the highest possible things, then maybe you're gonna want to do that, you know? Um, but, I like that it's accessible, is what it feels like. Um... You know, I don't want to keep comparing it to this other game, but it's the one that I've played recently. Emerald Valley Ranch kind of felt a little bit difficult from the get-go, and a little bit um, obtuse, I guess? Hard to, hard to understand. And part of that was because it was, like, incomplete, and I don't think they ever really finished it. Okay, quest. Ah, I can see you're really starting to form a bond with Archer Beans. And I'm sure it'll only get better from here. Celebrate this moment. Why don't you change up Archer Bean's equipment? I have a new blanket right here for you. Feel free to pick whichever one looks best on your horse, and it won't affect their performance in competitions, aside from making them look their best for the crowd. Okay. Shop. Oh, these are for the courses. That's right. So she must have just given it to me. Leave. Bye-bye! Okay. Let me... Horse info. Um... Oh, I'm gonna take you back to the... To the ranch for that one. Okay. And so, go to entrance. Bo 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 bo. Go! That's about as fast as we can go. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the fact that we can at least go to a canter at all times is nice because it does build speed. Um. Get up! I do feel like I need to take every opportunity I can to build up my endurance. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. But yeah, you see, I want these built up. Flexibility is doing well, but I want speed and endurance up. So I need to maybe take less sharp turns. Where is a nice just circle? Oh, well, would you look at that? Because if I can just run around in a wide circle, maybe I'll get less of the sharp turns. So my flexibility doesn't go up as much. Or let's see, we can do this run, right? All the way around. And then that will... Um, be another one where we have to do less sharp turns. You get what I mean? Because that level of min-maxing is um, something I can do right now where I just squeeze a little bit more out of the endurance. It'll give me a little bit more galloping in that race, and that's what's going to win it for me. If I can just get that little extra bit of energy. Um, let me double check that you're perfect right now. Uh, care. Okay, so any little bit of stuff that you do 
with the horse is going to lower the care and things. So that's good to know. 99. Look, we're, we're overachievers here. So we make sure. We make sure that you're good. Come on. Come on. Someone let me know if that's okay when they move their legs. Because I'm not sure. Scratch the butt. Scratch the back. Do, do, do. That's where it's at. Where's my trust at? 11. Oh, come on. You know you're happy. All right. Well, maybe you pooped or something. No. Boop -a -doo, ba -da boop boop boop. Uh, that's all good. Where's our new blanket? Spring. Oh, that's cute. All right. All right. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. Well, we're gonna call that good. I mean, I could try and brush. We'll, we'll give it another twenty seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, a nine, a ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, a fourteen, a fifteen, a sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? My horse may never know. All right, cool. We're good. Bag it out. Maybe I should have let them out in the pasture for a little while, but I'd rather them be in there when we go to sleep. And I think this is one of those games where it saves when you go to sleep. So uh, let's do that. Can I run? Can I go to a gallop? I can't. I can't gallop. Come on. Let me gallop, please. Boop, boop, boo, doop, boo. Okay. All right. So that's our game saved. Perfect. Well, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed. If you did, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you can't think of anything to uh, comment down below, comment. Butt scratches are the best scratches. Um, beyond that, y'all, thanks so much. Uh, I uh, uh, most importantly, that's what I wanted to say. Most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.